Alrighty guys, Yao G here, as always, combat difficulty set to extreme, and welcome to our latest timed boss beating challenge video. Yep, it's the turn of a Star Wars character at last, guys. We've done, I think, only Boba Fett. Hit me in the comments if I'm wrong with that, but I've, I've had a look. It looks like we've only ever done Boba Fett. Incidentally, his time was 46.01. So it should be quite attainable by layout. She's got some seriously funky moves and some seriously funky special moves, which I can't wait to see. I haven't seen any myself yet, but here we go. So guys, if you've not stumbled across one of these videos as yet, the rules are pretty simple. There are no rules, all hits count. It's two timed runs. The fastest of the two timed runs will be taken up and put upon a leaderboard to see which which time she can get close to, if any, or may top. The timer will start when the first hit lands and the timer will stop when the time icon disappears from the screen. So guys, the first of the two time runs. Let's hit the button and bring in time. Oh, he's looking pretty darn up for the fight. I think I'm gonna go with an early combo. Let's do this. One seventeen twenty-five. Oh my goodness, guys! That's officially the slowest time ever. And what are those specials about? They did nothing. What a nightmare! So I'm going to set it up for the second round, guys. We'll see if we can better it, and we'll see you there. Here we go, then, guys. It's all set for the second round. And I've got to tell you, normally at this point, I've got a good idea as R2 flies away of how I want the second round to go. But I've got to tell you, Princess Leia, I am struggling. So let's just see, we'll hit the button, bring in time, and see if we can better the first round. I've got my fingers crossed. She's a little bit of a struggle, but I think I'm gonna go early with a combo. Let's do this. <laughs> Point zero six. Oh my goodness, that's actually the third slowest time ever. And those specials, gotta be honest, they really didn't do her many favours. Some character specials have absolutely rinsed this challenge, but hers didn't. I've got a sneak feeling they'd be good for crowd control, but that's for another video. For now, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this battling video. 
If you want to see the skill tree, stick around. And if not, thanks for watching. Do hope to see you in the next. And bye for now. Alrighty then, guys. Princess Leia's skill tree. And bear in mind, I'm doing this before the fight, but you're actually watching it after the fight. So let's go ahead and spend the respender and make this thing fresh as a daisy. So straight off the bat, we'll move into health and defense. And I've got to tell you, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take anything from this. Although maybe Leia's athletic jump, but certainly no health. Bearing in mind, we are setting up just for the time battle. So on to the second one, which is the special ability. Definitely want that. Calling in R2 looks pretty darn epic. Increase the rate at which the special move meter fills. Now, I don't like taking these because when I set up for these battles, I just throw the purple capsules in. But obviously, to get the other stuff, we're going to have to go that route. It is only one point, but we will take that. We want to increase the damage caused by R2. That's going to be pretty sweet, hopefully. And increase the time enemies are stunned. We'll take that also because that's leading to more damage by R2. Moving on to the other side. Certainly not going to be taking the power disc recharges, guys. Don't need those. As I say, just going to be throwing in the purples. So I'm going to take the special move meter upgrade, which allows me to use it more than once. Probably not going to be using it that many times in one round. We'll see how that one pans out. But again, we've got more increased damage. So the final one to choose is another meter upgrade but it costs five so i'm going to hold five on that and we'll see what we've got on the next two tabs onto the melee skills obviously we're going to go all out on this which is damage increase also calling in reinforcements at the end of a combo got to tell you haven't seen that yet can't wait to see it i'm hoping it doesn't disappoint you guys have seen that already no doubt hmm <laughs> So the Rebel Rumble increases the frequency at which it can be used. I'm going to go for that. I want to try and use it as much as possible. Sounds like it might cause a decent amount of damage. And we can increase the damage that it causes. So we'll definitely go for that. We're also going to go for this here, which increases layers damage. Definitely having that one. Moving over to the left. A Stunner Attack. So it's Triangle and R2 to cause Leia to stun an enemy. Tempting, we don't have any choice, we want to get the rest of it, so I think we'll go for that. Now this one is, sounds like a similar, similar move, but while in the air. So we'll take that as well, because that also leads to max damage, which is what we're all about for this challenge. And finally, Okay, so that's a little similar. That one actually stuns them. That one actually knocks them down. I think we'll go for that. We'll go for it. So on to the final tab, which is the range skill. And it leads me to believe a lot of this battle is going to be blaster orientated. So obviously we're going to take the first one. And it's got a special, which I think charges up. You guys have probably seen it again already. Which then goes to multiple targets. Seems a little bit pointless for this challenge. But we are going to have to take some of it to get up to the left side. First off, we'll take a look. So we can increase the rate of fire. Definitely going to grab a bit of that. And again, increase it again. I might hold tight. I just want to see what sort of points we've got. So this is damage. We're going to have to take that to get to damage. That incidentally... Is increasing the number of shots fired before she has to reload. We don't want to be reloading too much. So let's just have a little squeeze. Okay, that's more targets. Again, more targets that can be hit. I'm not overly keen on this one, guys. Got to be perfectly honest. So reduce the time it takes to charge it. And increase the damage. So reduce time again. And increase the number of targets and targets. So I'm certainly not going to go for that one. But I think we'll go for the top left so we'll go for the reduced time it takes to charge it you know we've got two rounds we're going to test it out we'll see how it goes and we'll take that and obviously the damage which leaves us six points six sneaky little points there i'm not entirely sure it's going to be enough for everything that we want so we can increase the number of shots or the other option 
is to have another special. I think I'm going to go for another special. Let's do that. I can't wait to call R2 in anyway. So there it is, guys. That's Princess Leia's skill tree that I used for the battle you just saw and I'm about to do. <laughs> so as always, and as I probably already said, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this battle and video. Hope to see you in the next, and bye for now. Right then, Leia, let's get it on with the fight.